Hey, it's your Open Source Advocate, and I'm back with another midweek tidbit for you. So I wanted to talk a little bit about speed tests, and there are plenty of free speed tests out there on the internet. Uh, the first thing is if your ISP ever says, hey, we want you to run a speed test real quick, and it's and it's their site. So like I'm with Spectrum. If I ever called Spectrum and said, hey, could you run a speed test to Spectrum.net? No. I'll run a speed test to, to somebody else, but I'm not going to run it to them because that's going to it's going to tell them that I'm connected to them. That's it. It's not going to tell them if I'm having connectivity issues beyond them. So if you ever do have to run a speed test, don't don't speed test it to your ISP. Go out there to, to one of the websites or use this tool that I'm about to show you. So first of all, a couple of websites, speedtest.net, really simple, really easy. You click on the go button and it's going to go out there and do its thing. It's going to find an endpoint somewhere and it's going to start running the speed test for you. So you see it looks like a gauge. It's going to just start going. It's going to tell you basically what kind of speeds you're getting. So this is uh, running on Linux and I'm running on Wi-Fi. So I mean I'm getting decent speeds. Now I'm supposed to have 200 megabits per second. Um, I don't know exactly what that should be but if I was wired I'm guessing it would be a little bit faster. So first it does your download check. So how fast can you download something from the internet? Then it runs through an upload check. My upload is always limited to about this speed, so I, this is pretty accurate, actually. Um, I'm guessing the download speed was also accurate based on the Wi-Fi card that I've got. So there you go. There's my there's my current speeds, uh, basically according to speedtest.net. The other one is uh, speedof.me. So speedof.me. And this is basically just a site that, that does speed tests as well. Um, so here we go. I'm going to click on start test. And it's going to do the same type of thing. It's going to do a download test. And what it does is it really downloads a few different files of varying sizes to give you some kind of indicator of how fast your download speeds are. So this one shows that I'm getting a little bit faster than I was on speedtest.net. But it just depends on how they run those tests and where they're running them to and things like that. So you can't just take it as gospel. And maybe that's a good reason to kind of run a few different ones to see how it's going. Even if you're using the same tool, sometimes it's good to run it four or five times and get an average, which is kind of what this is doing. It's doing different size files and then it's kind of going, okay, what's your peak? What's the average? That kind of stuff. So here you can see it's doing the upload test now. It's already done the download test. So the upload test is running and there you go. There's the final results and it gives you a little bit of information. So there's the websites. The websites are cool. That's fine. Sometimes you don't have a website. What if you're logged into a DigitalOcean server and you're wanting to know, like, how fast am I getting some kind of connectivity? Well, you can do that. So here we've got um, uh, an install command. So you would run sudo snap install fast. That's all you have to do. I've already run it. It's not going to do anything. I'll go ahead and run it just so you can kind of see it. But it's going to tell me it's already installed, so there's nothing to really do. Um, yeah, so fast is already installed for me. And then the way you run this is you just do fast right there let it run there you go you're gonna watch it run here it's gonna go and do a download test now fast is extremely basic it doesn't give you any other kind of output it doesn't do an upload test it is just download so when you when you run it you're gonna get your download speed according to fast all right next is sudo apt install speed test dash cli this is what you would run to install speed test CLI and I'm going to do it. It's going to tell me it's already installed, but if you do it, it'll ask you, are you sure you want to install this? You hit Y, hit enter. It's going to install. Then to run it, there are a few options for speed tests. So we'll just do straight up speed test CLI. If you just run this command, it's going to go out and find somewhere that's close to you and it'll give you a distance. So you can see the approximate distance from me to San Angelo, Texas, and it tells you who they're testing against. And it goes out and kind of does a, a little run there. So it's telling me about 80 megabits per second. And, and you've seen it's varying, but de depending on where I run and who I run against, it, it varies as to what my speeds are. There's my upload speed. It's always around 12. So you can see that the upload is always pretty accurate. The download kind of varies depending on where I run it. Now, speedtest-cli has some other options. So I think uh, maybe we do man speed test cli yeah, here we go. So you can do a few things. So first you can do simple, which is exactly what it says. Instead of having the dots and that kind of stuff, it just gives you kind of a simple output. Um, but 
a few other things, right? No download. I don't want to do the download test. I only want to do the upload test or no upload. I don't want to do the upload test. I want to do the download test. That's fine. Uh, dash dash help or dash H will give you help instead of using man. Let's see what else we have down here. So bytes, um, so in bytes instead of bits. So if you're not really sure how to convert bits to bytes, you can tell it, do it in bytes. Um, share, so you would basically generate a CSV and you could share out your, your statistics there. Simple is the one I talked about where it doesn't give you quite so much information. Um, CSV delimiter would be like, what do you want it to use for the delimiter? Maybe you don't want to use a comma. Maybe you want to use a pipe. It just depends. So let's try something a little different. Uh, we just did speed test CLI. So let's do speed test dash CLI dash dash simple. And I'll kind of let you see what that looks like. So you see it doesn't give you any kind of real fast output. It's not telling you where it's testing against. It's not giving you the little dots as it runs or anything like that. It's going to run the speed test and then it's going to give you some output when it's complete. And it's going to be very simple to look at and read. And there you go. So it comes back up. It gives you what you've got for download. It gives you your ping time. And it gives you your upload speed. That's it. That's what Simple does. So if we do speed test dash CLI dash dash no upload. So it's going to go out this time. It's going to do it more like the full speed test. It's going to tell you who it's testing against. It's going to do the download speed test. And again, this is on speedtest.net. Um, so again, depending on who you use, you get different output, right? But there we go, 74 megabits per second. And it doesn't do the upload test. So you could do the same thing with no download. I just want to know how fast I'm uploading today. So it's going to go out and try to run that test. It's going to run the upload test should come back around 12 and there we go pretty close to 12 11 and a half so let's see what happens if we do dash dash bytes so again it's going to run this test it's going to do the download and the upload this time now you can mix these you don't have to just use one at a time I'm just trying to show you what the options look like It's going to run the upload test now. So it did the download test and it's telling me in bytes. So it's in megabytes, 5.76 megabytes per second instead of megabits. So that's fine. And my upload is about 1.49 megabytes per second. So I know a lot of people go, wow, that's not very fast. Or maybe some people go, wow, that's really fast. Me, I go, that's pretty fast because when I started using computers and bulletin boards and the internet, I mean, I had a 24 baud modem. It was just this is this is an incredible speed based on what I used to have. So, um, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Here's some really cool tools. So, you know, get out there, try out fast, try out speed test dash CLI, and see what you think of them. I mean, I think these are some really cool tools, and hopefully they'll give you a little bit of information, and maybe you don't have to open up a web page to go and try and do something. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, let me know what you think, and talk to you next time. Thank <laughs> you.